Pixar may be in trouble. At one point, they were the leading force in the world of animation, creating timeless classics such as Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and Monsters, Inc. But believe it or not, they haven't been profitable since April of 2022. Yep, that's right. It's been over two years since they've made any money. The upcoming release of Inside Out 2 may be their last hope. If that movie flops, Disney might seriously consider consider shutting down Pixar Studios. Can you believe that? Pixar shutting down as a real possibility. That is actually insane considering the success they've had in the past. So how did we get here? Why haven't the more modern Pixar movies been able to grip audiences and achieve the same level of success as the movies of the past? Well, it turns out the company is desperately trying to figure that out themselves. And they seem to have come to a pretty bizarre conclusion. In an interview from June of 2023, a representative from Pixar said they're dedicated to making personal stories and continued on to say that they want directors to create movies pulling directly from their own unique lived experiences. This was actually the driving force behind some of the more recent Pixar films being made, with Elemental being loosely based on the director's personal experiences with immigrant parents and Luca being based on the director's childhood in Italy. But after these movies failed to perform well at the box office, Pixar seems to have changed their tune a bit. In a recent interview that directly contradicts the previous one I was just talking about. Pixar is now saying that they're done producing movies that are meaningful to the director. They don't want passion projects anymore. Instead, they want to focus on being as relatable as possible. Maybe the thought process here is that the message of these movies were too individualized to appeal to a wider audience. But does that really make any sense at all? I mean, let's be real. The specifics of a movie or its characters aren't what makes it relatable. Relatable. Most people aren't orphans who can do magic, but they still manage to love and connect with Harry Potter. That's because it's about the heart of the story and the struggle and journey of the characters that make them something relatable and likable, something that Pixar used to understand. And is it really fair to blame the directors for making these movies too personalized when that's exactly what they were told to do by Pixar? But hey, I guess we should expect nothing less from the company who literally fired the woman who saved Toy Story 2 back in the day when it was almost deleted from Pixar headquarters. So besides from blaming the directors, how does Pixar plan to fix the problem and make sure its upcoming movies are successful at the box office? Well, the plan is simple. They did the math, they crunched some numbers, and apparently the safest way to get people in the seats is to shove some member berries in their face and lure them back into the theaters to see the familiar faces they've already grown to know and love. That's right, sequels. More and more sequels. And in a way, it makes sense. Sequels are safer because people know what to expect and they're already drawn in without the company really having to try. They're essentially saying they want to play it safe and not take risks because they failed the past few times. Pixar even announced that Toy Story 5 is in the works. Yep, with Woody and Buzz back together again. Which, by the way, how in the world do Woody and Buzz find each other after splitting up? What? Did Woody text Buzz? Is there a toy Facebook? Not to mention, that cheapens the message of the fourth movie about parting ways and moving on. Absolutely ridiculous. Look, sequels can be fine sometimes, but if the company doesn't figure out how to re-spark their old magic by creating some new original stories, this could truly be the end of of Pixar. Even if Inside Out 2 does well, with their new company philosophy of anti-personal to the director's stories, I highly doubt we'll get the same heartfelt messages from Pixar that we used to. Long term, relying on sequels so heavily is also not a sustainable strategy. I mean what? Are we all going to be lining up to see Toy Story 8 someday? They're going to crash and burn as an animation studio if they can't figure out how to grip audiences with new stories and new characters. Not good. Alright, thanks for listening.